Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to convert or rewrite the Oracle user defined function into Snowflake. This is the seventh video from Snowflake Cloud Data Warehouse migration from Oracle Tips and Tricks playlist. So, this is the user defined function which we are going to compile in the Snow Oracle. So, to create a function in the Oracle user defined function, not is that is a not a built in function. So, that's why let me create the function in in Oracle and then after that after that we will rewrite the same function in snowflake so the requirement is like this this is is date function takes input parameter as a string and returns n or y if given input is valid date format then returns y it is invalid format then returns n so the logic is like that so if length is okay whatever that value you are going to give or pass as input value should be 10 character okay length is this should 10 characters and that is the one condition or if fifth position is hyphen other than the hyphen then it should give it should give n or eighth position okay it, it should other than iPhone, eighth position other than iPhone, it's an invalid date. So that is the one like one validation. The other validation, like you know, if it is everything looks fine. Okay, whatever you are going to provide the value as the input that it is the expected uh, you know y y y iPhone mm iPhone dd format, then return y. So uh, the exception part if there is other than these conditions if there is any uh, if you are going to get any error during the uh, you know execution of this uh, uh, function then simply when others return n so this is the oracle user defined function so let me compile this oracle function in, in okay in the oracle so yeah function created now what i am going to do let me call this function as part of you know query so select query from dual by using the uh, dual dummy table this is a dummy table where uh, i mean you know um, one column should be there one value dummy is the column name and x is the value so let me execute this let me use the these date with the three different uh, three times with the different values so first is the you know uh, instead of i pun in the eighth position i'm providing the slash forward slash and in the second okay second time i am passing the valid uh, you know date so y y iphone m m m iphone dd format and third time i am passing the you know invalid date in the position 5 uh, instead of iphone giving the forward slash now let me execute this query from oracle so yeah so first first time n i mean in, in the first case it is the n and the second case it is the y because it is a expected date and third third place third, okay third case it is the n so now what i am going to do this same oracle user defined function i am going to rewrite into snowflake and then after rewriting if you execute the same query then output would be expected output would be same n y n now let me jump onto snowflake so here uh, i am going to use the demo db as the database and the schema name as the public because if you want to create any object so you have to use the uh, i mean uh, one database inside database any schema so case one what i am going to do we we can rewrite this uh, oracle function into snowflake in different ways so one of the way is uh, by using the you know case statement to create a function in the snowflake okay user defined function we can create a function user defined function in snowflake by using the language sql or javascript in our case we no need to use the javascript we can write the same we can rewrite the same logic by using the languages sql so to create a function create a replace function function name and what is the uh, input parameter name and data type okay returns 
where care of 1 because we are going to return n or y that's why this is the mandatory statement language sql here it is optional if you don't provide any um, provide the language value then default in snowflake take take as a language type as a sql and as is the to start your actual code um, i mean your function body you have to start with the after as inside dollar dollar or single quote also you can use but for comfortfulness and snowflake recommends use the dollar dollar so that you know you don't uh, need to uh, escape uh, some special characters while writing the as part of your query so now what i am going to do here i am going to use the uh, you know case statement instead of if condition because if i want to use the if um, or control structures like you know while loops all these things we have to use the javascript so now in this case as i said that we are going to use the sql so that's why i cannot use the if condition instead of that i am going to use the case statement case is as part of the sql only so now select case when length not equal to 10 or fifth position is not equal to fifth character is not equal to iphone or eighth character okay not equal to iphone then return y when this is one condition when try to underscore date try underscore to underscore date which is a snowflake error handling conversion function this is the built in function try underscore to underscore date is a built in function built in conversion function what it will do base if this function not able to convert the given value into date format then returns null value if able to you know convert the given value into a date format then return whatever you are going to provide as the input that will return so that will return now this case if it is not null that means able to convert without any issues then return y else other than th these two condition n here we no need to do any exception handling also because the else will take care of all the other cases now let me create this uh, create our uh, date function user define function snowflake user define function okay function is date successfully created now what i am going to do i am going to execute the same a uh, sql query but, uh, with the three different options okay as i executed in the oracle so here in, in snowflake we can use the dual table or without also now let me use the dual table in from class okay now i am going to execute this query the output expected output would be n y n so we have successfully migrated re or rewrite the oracle user defined function into snowflake now what i am going to do we will see another case how we are going to rewrite i mean reduce the number of lines so instead of using the i mean instead of checking all the length because we are not going to do anything instead of that we can do by using the try to uh, try underscore to underscore date conversion function only so this try underscore to underscore date as i said that if you, if it is able to convert uh, into a valid date then returns the actual given uh, input value otherwise returns null so by checking that okay, you can return y if everything is uh, perfect y and n yeah, no need to check the length and fifth position and eighth position so here i am going to create the another uh, with the another name create uh, is date underscore one so let me create this function okay function is date underscore one successfully created now what i am going to do let me execute the same query without uh, you know dual table from from class now after executing this this query also should give the same value so n sorry here i have changed the some value that's why uh, okay let me execute uh, uh, give the query was different that's why yeah now let me execute okay n y n so this is the uh, this case also we have got the expected output similar in oracle now case 3 uh, you will no need to write the function itself we can directly use the try to date as part of your query by using with the combination of case statement so but i mean 
you know it would be better to write a function and use that function as part of your uh, you know query so that you know reusability here we need to write the number of uh, i mean more number of uh, uh, lines of code i mean here see uh, every time you have to use the repeat uh, only input value would be the different so in the, uh, that's why it would be better to write a function instead of using the try to uh, date every time okay so now let me this is the way how you are going to directly use the uh, try to date function as part of your query so this one also would return the expected output n y n this is all about you know how to, how you are going to how to convert simple oracle function in oracle function means oracle user defined function not uh, function i mean oracle built in function we cannot rewrite i mean you know built in function we cannot get this syntax from the oracle built in function so the, whatever we, uh, i showed uh, uh, in this example that is a user defined function so that function this is the way how you are going to rewrite into rewrite into snowflake thank you for watching my video if you like this video please subscribe to my channel like it and share it to your friends